morning and welcome to your News Now Sports. I'm Dwayne Scott. Huge conference rivalry match in Minster tonight. The Wildcats at 16-3 are the fourth ranked team in D4. They host Ohio's number one Division III squad, 17-2 Coldwater. And yet in the ever competitive MAC, these teams are just holding on to their title hopes, having both already lost to first place for sales and the Cavs coming off a Tuesday shocking shout out to St. John's. Well, they waste no time getting on the board today. Second pitch of the game, AJ Hallermer turns it up the other way and it's way out of here for the leadoff solo shot. One nothing cold water. In the second inning, it's 2 1 2 out for Cole Esler. In the live drive out to left will clear the bases. Two Cavaliers score to give them an early 3 0 lead. The Wildcats battered but not beaten. By the fourth inning, they're back within a run with 2 1 and 2 out for James Niemeyer. That one's drilled through the gap. Not only does Dylan Highcamp score, but Tyler Stevie is on his tail hustling home, losing the helmet, but the tag at the plate is mishandled and it's getting loud for Mister, taking the 4 3 lead. Final inning now, 5 4 Coldwater. Down to her last hope, two outs and two strikes. Miles Pot Cutter provides with a hard hit grounder to left field. Brady Hamilton scores from second. Time to game at five. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Minster has the bases loaded with two hits and an intentional walk with a hard break for the Cavaliers as Alex Schmidt-Meyer is hit by the pitch and the winning run is walked home. Minster survives six to five, knocking the cold water out of contention. And the win for Minster is made all the more important just minutes later, first place for Seals suffered their first conference loss when St. Henry put up six runs in the eighth inning. That gives Mr. a half-game lead for first place. The Wildcats can clinch at least a share of the Matt Crown on Wednesday when they battle St. Henry at home. WBL action as Van Wert in games, back in standings. They are 9-7 overall. They travel to Elida, who look to get back in the win column. We pick up things in the fourth. Sam Haug hits a blueprint to shallow center field, sending Caden Doner around third to the plate giving the Cougars a 4-1 to one lead. Next up is Caden Schaefer, who puts the ball in play, but the throw to home skips past the catcher. Scoring not one, but two runs on the air, Van Wert up 6-1. to one. Zach Seaver on the mound for Elida. He gets the punch out, finishing with four Ks on the day for the Bulldogs. Score remains the same, but the Cougars did not let up. In the fifth, Schaefer reaches on a wild throw to first that scores three runs for their away team as Van Wert wins 11 to three.